everyone this is a short video on cleaning out the tortoise table where my baby leopard tortoises live this involves removing everything from their tortoise table cleaning and disinfecting all the items and the tortoise table itself then replacing the substrate and putting all the items back again and I recommend doing a full clean of your tortoise table every four to six weeks the items that you'll need to do a full clean of your tortoise table are somewhere to put your tortoise whilst you're cleaning out its tortoise table so you could use a temporary tub for this a dustpan and brush bags and buckets for their waste soil and items that you want to keep from the tortoise table like their stones, plants, hide, dishes and things like that and also buckets for washing any dirty items outside you'll need their new substrate so topsoil and play pit sand we'll be using in this video some tortoise safe disinfectant, some kitchen roll, some water and a sponge. So before we get started I'll show you what the tortoise table looks like at the moment. So we've got two tubs with soil and sand substrate and we've got one tub with stones. And I've already removed their food and water dishes from here. The first thing to do is set up a temporary tub for the baby tortoises. So here we have a black tub which I've lined with newspaper, we've got a heat lamp, a hide and some water. And this is all they need really as they won't be in here very long. But I will put a little bit of food out for them to keep them busy whilst I'm cleaning their tortoise table. Then we can move the babies over from their tortoise table into their temporary tub. And the reason that we're doing this is because we don't want them breathing in the dusty substrate when we're cleaning it out. And they also get quite stressed when you're moving things around in their tortoise table. So it's best you move them to a different area whilst you're doing this. So now the babies have all been moved over into their temporary tub, we can start cleaning the tortoise table. So the first thing to do is to remove all the items that we want to keep. Then we can bag up the old soil and either reuse in your garden or put it into your recycling bin. If you are reusing it in your garden, then remember that it's got sand mixed in with it, so it's best kept to areas where you have plants that thrive in sandy soils. Now that the soil is emptied out, we can clean and disinfect the tub. So here I'm using tortoise safe disinfectant, and we need to be careful we don't spray over any thermometers we've got in the tortoise table, so I'll just remove those. Then we can wipe down with some blue paper towel. And once the tub is clean, we can give it a final spray of tortoise safe disinfectant and leave it to air dry. Next, we'll move on to the middle tub and we'll repeat the same process again. And we also need to clean out the tunnels. And now we're cleaning the last tub. Now 
So that's the three tubs cleaned and disinfected. And now we're clean and disinfect the other items from the tortoise table. The first job is to wash the stones, so we just take these outside and then rinse them in cold water. So that's the stones washed and put back into their buckets. The next job is to clean the rest of the items here. and then we leave them to air dry. Next we check our tubs are dry before we add in the substrate. And for the substrate I'll be using topsoil and play pit sand. And now the substrate is done, we can add the items back into the tortoise table. Then we can add in their food, their water, their moss, and their cuttlefish. And we'll also put back the thermometers that we removed before we cleaned out the tortoise table. Now we can start on the middle tub, and the first job is to put the tunnel back together. Then we can add all the other bits that we've cleaned back into the tub. And that's the second tub completed and now we can move on to the final tub. And here I'm using a clean dry saucer to mark out where I want the food and water bowls to go. This is just to make it easier to put the stones around it before there's any food or water in the bowls. And here I'm making a little dip in the soil where the hide goes. This is just to give them a slightly different level in their tortoise table. And that's all three tubs completed. Which means it's time to move the babies back into their lovely clean tortoise table. Thanks for watching my video and if you've enjoyed it please click the thumbs up and subscribe to see my other videos.